Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey with IGN here, joined by my friend and fellow Podcast Unlocked crew member, Marty Sleeve. Hey Ryan, how's it going? Really well, now that we're playing Broken yeah. Age. Yeah. Uh, be sure to check out our other Let's Play video, if you haven't already, where we're, we take a look at the beginning of Shay's adventure, the yeah. boy here. Yeah. We're going to take a look at Vela, who's the female character in Broken Age, which, uh, Marty, if, they, if someone hasn't been following the literally well-documented yeah. process <laughs> of this game... Tell us about it. Yeah, so the uh, the Kickstarter popped up about uh, almost two, two years, years ago, ago now. Uh, you know, it was one of the it wasn't the first video game Kickstarter, but it was, it was one the first of high profile, the one, first arguably. one to yeah high profile from like a huge name, uh, and it just you know completely destroyed its goal within 24 hours. Uh, it had made I re I remember because we were following it so closely. Yeah. A million dollars in 24 hours. Yeah. I believe it hit its goal in eight yeah. hours because its goal was three hundred yeah, yeah. thousand dollars. So it literally, we got ten times that over that <laughs> uh, in the in the final product. And uh, honestly, it it shows in how gorgeous this game is. Yeah. So uh, yeah, right from the get go, you're able to choose between uh, Shay and Vela, and you're able to swap between the two at any point. So we already showed you uh, how Shay's story begins. So uh, now we're gonna show you Vela. We can't say enough about the art. No. Love this art the style. The art, the music. I mean, you look, there's so many moments where you just want to, you know, I know I have to click in order to continue everything. But, but you, you don't. look at this and the music is. Oh, so good. And, of course, this is a classic point-and-click adventure game. Yeah, definitely. Circa 1990. Yeah, yeah. They've definitely. Actually, uh, actually not even Circa 98. Oh God, circa, circa 96, 96. because. In 98, Grim Fandango was with the keyboard. Oh, yeah, yeah, which almost made it a bit more difficult. Like, you had to... Uh, I never liked... Had to, a lot of the controls had that uh, almost Resident Evil tank feel yeah. where you had to yeah, line Yeah, I was not up. a fan when, yeah. when the LucasArts briefly went to that keyboard-style control. Yeah, Grim Fandango, it might be my favorite uh, story-wise of, of all of Tim Schafer's games, yeah. but uh, technically, yeah, to me, it doesn't... It, it definitely, you know tried to break the boundaries of what an adventure game could do technically but uh doesn't hold up extremely well when you when you go back to replay it so already if you've if you've watched our shea video we're seeing a lot of stylistic differences so shea is on a spaceship it's very uh Cute tech, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe yeah. it would be a term yeah, for yeah. It. I think cute tech, but uh, yeah, very isolated. I mean, he, the only character he interacts with in that initial portion is the AI, right. you know, mother of the ship. And here we're seeing beautiful color, a serene, you know, uh, terra firma setting. Yeah, but yeah. This gorgeous. It has this like Mediterranean feel to it. Yeah. But then once once we get inside, we're, we're going to start to see a. A distinct culinary theme take yeah. over. Even how those are kind of like teapot. <laughs> yeah, right, houses. right. Okay, shut up, you guys. He's coming. Hello. I'm scared. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this. Again, I feel like every couple minutes we're gonna say it, but this art style is is just absolutely incredible. I mean, it is a. I want. Uh, there are very few games nowadays where I actually want a giant poster oh, of yeah. art, and this I want. I yeah, want that. Yeah. Tim, can I have one? Please, <laughs> <laughs> <game. laughs> I will buy one. Yeah, and it's great how uh, just how even tonally different these two stories feel. Um, you know, Shays is very much. It's a boy who's who's lived a very uh, sort of saccharine life. And he's uh, I yearning for some sort of <laughs> I see where you're going with that. <laughs> he's uh, <laughs> yearning for some sort of adventure, uh, and ultimately, he, you know, he ends up finding it. Where Vela uh, is, you're gonna see. She's here, trying to get away from her. She's family. trying to get away from it. She's sort of rooted in this uh, tradition that yeah. is is definitely not necessarily a good thing. Uh, and so her uh, her grandpa is kind of the only one who's as uh, sort of uh, progressively uh, minded as she is. You're going to eat all of those. I've already had and now we so we 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 start here and we think, oh, cool. There's a surprise party going on, but we learn that there's there's some bizarre undertones. Yeah, it's to almost this. it's it's less of a surprise party, more of like a pre-funeral. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Not until I find that nice young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I'll show you really quick. Uh, you know, you could switch at the beginning of the game. Uh, you could choose characters, but just it's really this easy to yep. switch between uh, 
between Shay and Vela. Meanwhile, in space. Space, yeah, right? Um, and so, yeah, you can do the quick, uh, you know, triangle will... Uh, or not triangle, excuse Tri me. Uh, the space bar. <laughs> this isn't God, a PlayStation. This is not <laughs> That's <laughs> a space bar. It looks nothing like a triangle. Uh, so, we'll s so yeah. Um, you know, you're able to switch between the two on the fly, which is great. Um, that was also nice. You know, I would get stuck in one character. So I'd be in, in, we were talking earlier about how a lot of times walking away from a puzzle <laughs> is the best yeah, way. Yeah, it is. But in this game, you don't really need to walk away. You could just switch to another character, get a little bit further. Very and, true. Uh, you might learn... Uh, sort of uh, a trick that the game has up its sleeve and the other character's quest and then come back and you'll be able to solve it. So here you can talk to your grandmother, you know, your your wise old grandmother and learn about the the Mog Chothra. The Mog Chothra, which is uh, a bit like a Cthulhu sort of beast <laughs> that just like yeah. roams countrysides and devours uh, devours tributes and the cities love it. Like the cities view it as like uh, a celebrity kind of Yeah, it's like the Olympics kind of like yeah, yeah. fun. And never mind the fact that, uh, you know, many many of the, the town's young girls the, end up getting yeah, devoured. The, the maiden's feast is a literal term. Yeah. What is yeah, I was uh, um, I was sort of thinking, I was like, oh, this Mog Shoth, I bet this is some, someone's like hoodwinking them. Like this isn't actually real. And then you quickly realize, like, no, this is a giant <laughs> beast from the unknown that comes to the town to devour the girls. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a grand mob. Yeah, you definitely, uh, you know, we haven't seen, uh, the characters haven't interacted yet. We're, I'm about three hours in, Ryan's, yeah. I think, about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, yeah. I'm a little uh, the characters you. haven't really crossed paths yet. There have been slight nods uh, uh, a few times, but uh, definitely there's, uh, they share a lot of kind of thematic elements. Like both kids uh, want to kind of escape the shackles that they've been born into yeah. and, and, and are really searching for something more. They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. So uh, we can't start this party until we get the ceremonial knife. To so cut yeah, the cake. so this was a uh, yeah. So the 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 Ma lost the knife. Uh, this was actually a puzzle that I got completely stuck on. Um, it was just one of those. It's dumb. It's like the first puzzle of the game, and I was uh, again. I had that. You moment. overthought it. Didn't I you? absolutely overthought <laughs> it. So uh, yeah, you end up talking to your grandpa, and you realize that he's the one person in the room who's kind of is like, why don't we fight these things? Why yeah. are we? Uh, why are we sort of giving the girls up? Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. Fortunately, you'd picked up a cupcake from the yes, pile. Yes, exactly. Already. So, yeah, you'll see here that the... Yeah, I'm sure this uh, Gramps used to be a warrior, I would imagine. You can see all the uh, the awards he has on his on his chest. I'd better go find that knife. Um, Don't you dare. I hit it for <laughs> <laughs> You did what? So you see here the, uh, so you can give Gramps a cupcake. Yeah, just give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> so then he just eats it, and you're like, well, like, that, okay. didn't, that didn't work out too well. That clearly wasn't the solution to yeah, the puzzle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wandered around a little while before figuring it out, Oh, sure, yeah, grabbing a lot of things. Like, uh, look, what else can I click on yeah, in here? Yeah, yeah. Old you school pixel hunt. And you have this rag in your inventory, and I'm like, can I clean something? <laughs> like, if I, if I clean the counter enough, will the, will the knife appear? Uh, yeah, but it's nice. Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, you quickly, in, in both quests, you uh, s quickly stumble upon... Sort of the Tim Schafer, Ron Gilbert, Dave Grossman uh, rule of threes. <laughs> That's that true. They, uh, that they sort of solidified that back in uh, Day of the Tentacle, where and even yeah, maybe, uh, Monkey Island, where uh, there's gonna be a lot of puzzles where you have to do three things. Yeah, you have to find three things. Yeah. you have to talk to three people. Talk to three people, and uh, I, I remember in interviewing them, and I've always asked why three, and they've just said like, well, it's, two's not enough, and, and four <laughs> is too many, and I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, offer him the cupcake. See if uh, he'll split it with you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? <laughs> Love it. Uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. All right. So there you knife go. acquired. Found Ceremonial knife, knife acquired. Like knife this, your mom. This, I was about to say this. Is kind of, <laughs> this sort of looks like I'm doing something bad, but I'm trying to hand it to her. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time, honey? 
Why don't you just kill Mob Chakra? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're going to miss your sense of humor. They're all perfectly accepting that they're sending her out to be Sure, eaten. yeah, sending their daughter out to die. Oh, so we're seeing here, the whole town's gathered, everyone's oh, excited for uh, something that's really messed up when you think about it. It's handled in a very, you know, humorous, light uh, lighthearted way, but you think about it, you're like, this is, this is, pretty, this is pretty effed up. Yeah. I love the the, the phrases on the back of their dresses. <laughs> so we'll, uh, yeah, we don't want to show you uh, and spoil too much, but I guess we'll give you, uh, we'll sort of end on a little tease of uh, what Mog Shathra actually is. Fair enough. This can't be right. So you're standing alongside the uh, other girls. Each of them has something going on. One's trying to eat a giant chicken leg, but a bird <laughs> keeps trying to get it. Uh, so we'll see what this uh, birthday cake girl has. The monster gets close. You can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract mob Yeah, and the uh, you know the voice acting is spectacular in this. It is. To the point where a lot of times. Uh, well, with adventure games, I'll appreciate the writing more than the uh, than the acting, and so mm -hmm. I'll sort of uh, I'll just I'll skim the lines and then just click past them. But so far, I've been absolutely listening to everything and wanting to hear sort of every nugget of dialogue. As soon as I get an item, I want to go back and and pair it with every other character in the environment yeah. and hear what uh, what Vela and, and Shay have to say. <laughs> Love that giant chicken leg. Just reminds me of like medieval times. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chathra hungry. You have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. And I could definitely promise you, unlike uh, kind of the old uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy adventure game, as of yet, there's no and there's no just game over. Well, that's a that's a yeah. that's a Lucas Arts and rule. Yeah. you you could you can't die. Yeah, you cannot get to a kill horrible. screen. You can't not uh, grab something. And, Which, and and of course, Tim Schafer comes from the Lucas Arts yeah, yeah, school. Of yeah. I mean, he's yeah. Now that, it comes from, but sort of forged what right. that school is. That was always the big difference between the Sierra Adventure games yeah. and the Lucas Arts Adventure games. Was where if you didn't find an item at the beginning of the game, like it you could, could come actually and scream completely. Hours later. Yeah, you could completely yeah. fail in Sierra games. Yeah. Now oh, that's the official Mog Chakra <laughs> horn of plenty <laughs> that's been blown. So yeah, honestly, up until this point, I was I was positive it wasn't going to be real. I thought it was just going to be some really crappy like paper mache thing. Yeah, and exactly. Then, yeah. And then, uh, no, it just turns out to be <laughs> a giant, terrifying beast. <laughs> Look at all the birds the flying <laughs> away. <laughs> the birds are just like, nope, done with this. <laughs> God, the grandma's yeah, sight. She's just stoked. Yeah, loving it. The drool. Yeah. Yeah, the tentacles. Uh. Here I am, merciful King Mog Chakra. Over here. No, this way, Great One. I am the one you've come so far to find. Over here. I am indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Just the evil Like, a, like an airplane <laughs> waving her <laughs> with the... Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think we'll uh, we'll leave you here. We'll leave Vela in danger, and uh, it'll be up to you guys in a couple of weeks. Uh, if you're not a backer, and if you're a backer right now, you could be playing this. That's right. be finishing Act 1. Uh, so, yeah, we'll leave it up to you to uh, play the rest of Broken Age. Uh, we'll have our full review uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, but, yeah, just to let you guys know, Ryan and I have both played it, uh, a couple hours of it, and we both love it. So good. Yeah. Be sure to, again, be sure to check out our Shay Let's Play which is about fif the first 15 minutes of Shay's uh, story. And for more on Broken Age, you're already in the right place.
here on IGN.